Hello, hello, my peeps. I'm here today to bring you a floor two walkthrough for the bunker, for Alpha Bunker. And it may not be the same way that everyone's gonna do it, but this is the way that I approach it. It allows me to maintain keeping my, uh, as many weapons as I can in my inventory without, you know, using them all when I'm going through the bunker. And also just, uh, so it's some melee weapons and some, and some firearms. And this is how I approach the bunker as a newbie. First time to the bunker, obviously this isn't gonna be the way you're gonna do it because you're not gonna have the weapons. And I can come back later and do a first time walkthrough for all the guys out there and girls out there who don't have the guns to go through the bunker. And one little tip I would give you is to uh, go to the bunker anyways and kill the guys in the first area. Collect those tickets and just keep doing that until you have enough to open a green box, boom, then you got a handgun, maybe a shotgun, maybe even an assault rifle, it just depends on what it wants to drop you that day. So as you can see, I'm, I'm coming in here, and this is the main lobby area where you're gonna, you're gonna collect your, your boxes from here, uh, your ticket crates. And so that's the green one, I just, I did it there. But all these guys, you can sneak attack, except for, there's two fast spiders over here in the corner. You can really only get one of them down and then you'll swing on the other one, as you can see here. And then coming from there, you can just crouch down, come, come around, and just bop, just get that dude from the behind. And then he's saying goodnight. He's in Mimi's. He's in Dreamland now. And uh, and this sometimes will throw you some good stuff. Sometimes it's some basic stuff. Sometimes even nothing. So. Unlock these, it doesn't matter, it still adds uh, towards your percentage up here in the top right corner of what you're gonna get for uh, experience points so you can work towards unlocking the skill. And uh, so I'm coming in here, I'm dropping the tickets I do have, and I usually unlock about a red box every trip because I come back on hard mode and I'm able to get uh, the blind one who's gonna give you 10 red tickets no matter what, so you got that. And then you should usually be able to get, you know, anywhere from 11, 12 to 20 something red tickets. It just depends on what it wants to give you that day. Some days I go through and all these little bastards want to just give you yellow tickets, which yellow tickets are good, but you know what? If you're in my position, you're gunning for that one item that you don't have yet, and it's only in the red box. What you want is those red tickets. You want the red tickets, but you can't get them if they're dropping yellow. So that's the problem there. And I've got a lot of stuff I've saved up in my inventory here. Um, I am uh, deeply into this game. It's one of the, it's actually, it's actually really cool because I'm able to take this game with me wherever I go. Some of the games I'd like to play, I can't play because it's on my console at home. And I'm, I'm a console player. I'm thinking about moving to uh, PC gaming and some stuff like that, but as of right now, I don't have the setup. I don't have the gear. I don't have the stuff. I don't have the stuff. So this is like a game I could take with me that I'm really into that's so it's legit. So I've actually invested a little bit into it. I have some guns and some melee weapons in my inventory, and it doesn't hurt. If you're able to, go for it. Um... People say it's pay to pay to win, but you know what? I'm not winning. I'm not winning. <laughs> I'm keeping afloat. I'm staying afloat. That's really all it is. And uh, so here you got this 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 room. It's gonna slow you down. The little red fleshy stuff with arms coming out of the walls. It's gonna slow you down. So you can't move very fast. So it's very it's best to approach these guys right here, the, the fighters, uh, the roaming zombies. Excuse me. With a with a, like a the sledgehammer or the, the saw blade thing. That way, you, know, you, you get like one and done. One hit, done, one hit, done. And kind of just keep keep creeping away from them the whole time. Otherwise, you're gonna have to hit it multiple times. You're likely to get hit. Now you can crouch and come around here and swing on this guy. It's gonna take more damage because you, 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 know, you snuck him, you snuck him from the rear. And from here, just, you know, you, you can switch to a different weapon because you want to kind of preserve those, those other weapons that are the heavy duty ones, like the, like the ham, like this, the spike, no, not the spike, this, uh, <laughs> I forget, it's like the hammer one and the saw blade, 
mace thing. So uh, those are the, in, those are the ones you don't want to try and preserve. So you can creep around in between that frenzy giant and that fast spider around to the right side, kill that, and then run out. And the friend, while you take him out, what you see me do is the typical. For most, I'd say, because I'm not sure if everyone's aware of it yet, it's pretty known, maybe not completely known by everybody, but that what I was doing there is I'm tapping auto and I'm tapping my gun. I'm tapping auto, I'm tapping my gun. I'm tapping auto, I'm tapping my gun. And it allows you to fire, I'd say, you know, anywhere from 100 to 200% the normal rate that you would fire. So you're getting two shots for every. For the time it would take to fire once normally, so you you can take him out a little bit quicker. In that area where that frenzy giant was, there's usually nothing in that thing, uh, but it's, it behooves you to open it because it'll add still to your towards your uh, XP count over here on the top right of the map. And these guys, you just kind of got to swing on them unless you're willing to kind of shell out, you know, a gun to take them out. I'm willing to sacrifice the armor and the melee weapon to just pummel them instead. This is also, these two guys right here, I sometimes skip. You don't need to take them out. I'm just showing you that they are there. And it's an option if you want to get the XP. Because that crate over there on that shelf doesn't really give you anything. And those guys don't really drop much as far as the quality of tickets. Um, and you can sneak over here behind this, behind this toxic spitter and take him out. And right here, these guys are here, the fast fighters. Sometimes you can open the door and crouch. Uh, I'm doing it on mobile, so it's a little bit more likely on mobile for them to aggro you immediately as opposed to for you to come up and get a critical hit damage on one of them with a melee weapon. These guys in the other room I just took out, they don't, there's not really a, a way to kind of crouch attack them. But what I like to do is from here, I'll, I'll, I'll leave those things, uh, the washing machine and the locker. I'll, I won't open those yet because that'll cause them to aggro. Or at least the locker. Just come up, sneak him, hit him with a, a heavy weapon, and then just kite him along. Boom, 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 run. Just kite him along. Take them both out, and they may or may not drop tickets. These are this is another couple, you know zombies that aren't really gonna give you much sometimes they'll give you some things sometimes they won't and about what you're seeing as far as the quality and uh frequency of the items they drop is about it's it's relatable to what it's gonna be like in hard mode so they may or may not drop a dog tag they may or may not drop a personal effect and they may or may not drop a notebook the note the notepads are really mostly the the frenzy giants and they're doable, but I usually avoid them just because I don't want to uh, risk getting my ass murdered in the bunker. Uh, but, uh, damn, there's just there's an easier way to go about getting your levels in the hard mode. So right now I'm just trying to get giant along. M16. And it's not a modified Glock. And so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to use my modified Glock all the way down to where it's almost dead, to where there's nothing left in it, and then you put it away. Because if you come back with some steel and some gun oil and some gun parts, boom, you got a brand new gun, basically a modified gun. Some of them are extended clips. Some of them are laser sighted. Uh, either way, you're coming back with a refreshed gun that's gonna, that's gonna give you, uh, it, it's like getting a new gun for just saving it. So save those guns. The M16, the, the AK-47, and the, the Glocks. You want to save those. Work them all the way down. Get almost all the life you can out of them. And then put them away. And these two over here. So look, you can go to this washing dryer machine or whatever. This, this cabinet over here in the back. You can go to this trash can. You can go to that first one right there. You can run to them if you want to. These two are However, attack them. So right now I'm showing you, you can sneak up and then from there what you're going to do is just kind of kite them along, blast them. Um, and like I said, this isn't going to work for everybody. Not everybody has the weapons 
I know that that was the biggest thing, the biggest obstacle I ran into when I first started this game is, you know, guns, 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 guns. And once you start going to the bunker, it's going to open up a lot of possibilities for you. It's really important that you do go to the bunker. It may not be the funnest thing you do in the game or something you're really interested in doing, but it's going to open up those avenues where you can get the guns, you can get the things you need. There's going to be plenty of aluminum in here. And if you if you uh, for you know if you create if you craft the smelter, you know you need aluminum, you need iron, you need copper. So if you scrap if you also uh, craft the scrapping thing and you save all the batteries you get from the you know the bunker, boom! Now you got copper and you can make steel bars. And the steel bars, boom! Now you got a military backpack. You can refurbish these guns. Uh, so the bunker has a lot of importance really as far as your ability to continue to proceed in the game And so what I'm gonna do right here. I don't have a, an assault rifle with me coming up in the next part You're gonna need an assault rifle uh, I just have the glocks with me and the modified glocks. So I'm running up here I'm gonna drop some of the goods that I got and I'm gonna pick up uh, an M16. I believe I have an AK-47. I don't know at this point, I think I was running through, and I, and I wasn't sure if I had unlocked the part where I can modify the AK-47. So either way, I'm saving those weapons because they can be refurbished, reused, full modified, which is dope. But you can only do it once. You can't, you can't put a modified weapon and put a steel bar, gun parts, and gun oil, and make another gun. You can only do it once. So that's the importance of really kind of keeping the guns you have that are basic, like the M16 and, and the Glocks and the AK-47s. Keep them right before they die and set them aside. So I'm running up here. I believe I have some steel or what I need to modify this gun. I'm trying to pick an assault rifle so I can go back down. Because coming up in the next part, you're going to see what we have as a turret. Now there's a turret in this level, and there's going to be a turret in the third floor also. And I'm just showing you guys that you need an assault rifle. You can also do it with a bow and arrow. I don't want to... I don't have the patience. We're just going to say that. I don't have the patience. I do not have the patience to shoot at this thing with a freaking bow and arrow. And it used to cause more damage. The bow and arrow used to be more valuable than it is now, but it's kind of garbage now. They need to fix it. What Kafir's done with the the bow and arrow is tragic. It's pretty much a useless weapon. At first you're like, yeah, I can kill from a distance. But it takes time to draw back. Meanwhile, the zombies running at you, whatever. They needed to upgrade it, maybe make a crossbow. That'd be kind of cool. A crossbow would be dope. Then it just takes time to load it, uh, as opposed to draw it back. Maybe cut that down and, and you know the duration it takes. Uh, so in this first floor, keep in mind your your body armor. Keep in mind of where you're at. You don't need a lot of weapons to do what I'm doing here, but you do need an assault rifle, guaranteed. Uh, like I said, unless you want to use a, a bow and arrow, and I don't know uh, about you, but I do not like the bow and arrow. It's a it's a waste of my time. So right here, I'm trying to decide, modify the the Glock or the or the other weapon, but I don't have the. I'm like one. I don't have to look. I, th I believe it's level 12 reputation for hard mode on the bunker before you can start modifying AK-47. So I went ahead. I got myself a, 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 a here. It shows you look so level 12. You can upgrade your your AK-47s. Um, so now I got an extended an extended clip Glock, uh, Glock. and yeah, it's cool. It's not what I needed, but I believe I have another one over here in this box. Um, we're gonna use that and I'm gonna put some of these other weapons away so like I said coming up you it's best to have an assault rifle uh, all these things that you get in the boxes that in the crates that you don't really know what you're gonna do with yet save them anyways worst case scenario you can scrap it uh, I usually bring a decent amount of food and try to use a minimal amount of bandages and almost none of the first aid kits the first aid kits I try to save for either hard mode or when I'm seeing the blind one and when you're doing the blind one with the technique that I use, you only need three uh, first aid packs, which is which is good. That's a kind of low amount of first aid packs to use, considering he's a boss. Uh, he's a boss. He's a boss. Uh, <laughs> 
So, uh, what you're gonna see here is, so we're gonna go on to the, the, the second half. Really, this is kinda like the first half, and the next part you're gonna see is the second half. So all this right here, this has all been the first half. Make sure you get all the tickets, make sure you get all the stuff you're going through for. And like I've already said before, this isn't gonna be the way everyone's gonna do it, but this is the way I do it. I feel it works for me, I'm able to go through, I use some guns, but you know what, I still walk away with more guns than I went in with, so it's not a problem for me. Uh, make sure you come over here if you're like, oh, what the fuck was going on, I can't get past this gas. There's a little there's a little wheel right there, you just, you know, you tap the gear icon in the bottom right and you're able to turn it off. Once the turret health bar shows us up at the top, you're in range. And you can, like I said, you can do it with the crossbow right there. That's what you need to craft the crossbow. But it's a pain in the ass. I don't want to do it. Now I've gone to the bunker. Like I said, I still walk away with more guns than I went in with. Um, this crate's pretty good sometimes. Sometimes it gives you some pretty good stuff. Sometimes it doesn't. But it's usually, it gives you good stuff more than it doesn't give you or more than it gives you bad stuff so you're more likely to get good stuff out of that crate make sure you grab those turret parts save them up if you're planning on putting turrets at your house you're gonna need those and you're gonna need to be able to upgrade it from here you have a toxic abomination and two uh, toxic spitters and you can sneak up behind the, behind the toxic abomination whack it pretty good from here it's just a fucking meat vest just bash on these dudes boom 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 and if you want to pull out a weapon To, you still just kind of melee away on them uh, keep some you know keep a health or a bandage or a food carrot stew down here in the bottom right so you can just drag and drop it into your, your pocket right there so you got health if you need it and you could just melee them from here you can actually just crouch and walk up along this right wall just kind of creep along and you'll stay away from being aggroed by the toxic spitter boom got him good you're damn right you got him and if you kill them with one hit, the other one won't aggro unless you're standing within the range he needs to, you know, aggro you. So you can actually take out both of them with a critical hit, critical damage hit. And this room right here, I just unlocked. It's got two floater bloaters, and it's dumb. They don't drop tickets that often. The desk you go to and you open doesn't really give you much most of the time you may get a ticket if you do it's likely to be a yellow ticket or something cheesy so it's I usually skip it and right here I got a, a bandage and some some alcohol and uh, was that I think I got a a, 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 cr uh, a crowbar so I mean that's Basically what you're gonna get out of the room. That room kind of blows. I usually skip it. The XP is not worth me wasting my melee or my my, my assault rifle or my handguns on. And from here, you can actually open that door and hit crouch right away. If you do it fast enough, you, you can creep up on them and get a critical hit damage on them. But I have a tough time doing it on the mobile phone because you can't quite tap them fast enough. This locker also, it may give you a couple, like a ticket. And uh, you can actually go this way, right there. If you were to follow it through, jump past those gas leaks and the pipe, you can actually just kind of cruise on out of, the, of this second floor if you're done, if you don't want to do it anymore. But what you can do from here um, is just proceed. You got to take out about two, uh, well, really one frenzy giant. If you're trying to clear the whole map, which I'm trying to show you how to do, there's gonna be three, there's actually four. There's four more Frenzy Giants right here. Take out this Frenzy Giant. He's kind of guarding this little wall. He must be bored as shit. <laughs> what does a zombie think about him, dude? Does it just sit there and just like stare at the space like it ate a bunch of mushrooms? Or like, what is it? What is it thinking? What is it doing? Like, that's, that's kind of strange. Okay, so if, once you take out that Frenzy Giant, if you open the door across from it, there's a frenzy giant right here. Make sure you look. Otherwise, you might start firing on the other. Frenzy giant. So go ahead and open up. The best to not ever try and take these guys out. Nothing happened. You gotta use it. It's airborne. So look.
boom, down. Okay, now I got one left inside the gate. And what I, I forgot to show right here is you can actually use like that hammer. It's long enough. I can actually reach the frenzy giant through the gate. Where you can actually kill him from the other side of the gate using that hammer. Uh, and I forgot to show that. And I might show that. I might make like, like a tricks and tips video here later. In which case, I'll, I'll include that. Um, but they're important. There's three frenzy giants. It's a pretty, they're pretty easy to take out right there. There's some goods you're going to get. All this is building towards unlocking and gathering enough, enough tickets to open another crate next time you know the, the bunker resets. So take what you can. Don't forget, some of this stuff you may not want, but you know what? You can give it to the raiders if you're doing raids. Like the aluminum, they love aluminum. I give them the aluminum rolls all the time, and they're so happy with it that it doesn't matter to them what else I got. So I usually give that away or make aluminum bars. That's great. A lot of this stuff you know you can scrap it worst case scenario if you don't want it just yeah. Yeah. for it so right here you got fast yeah. bring the giant so you gotta take them out quick so you kind of get away move back away and have space to take him on and don't be afraid to use that auto gun auto gun auto gun auto gun trick where you're able to fire faster uh, it definitely saves you a lot of heartache and time having to run away then go back the path you led you know you kited the frenzy giant through and so there's three lockers here sometimes they give good stuff yet again I mean find out for yourself this this can be good it can be lame it's unfortunate but that's what it is uh, and then going through here, you really just have, you're basically through. At this point, you're almost all the way done with the second floor. Um, like I said, just keep collecting a lot of these goods you're going to get here. It's up to you if you want to keep them, if you have enough of it. Anyway, you, you, can, you can literally go basically to that bench right there, to that third locker, and then from there creep, you know, back behind this, this toxic abomination and whack him pretty good. Take some health down with a critical hit. Right here, I'm going in because, like, I would usually use like the hammer, and then switch to another weapon. But the sword, the katana, is a lot faster, and I got two of these guys I'm gonna deal with. So I'm just gonna crouch, crawl on in here, and just go for it. Just take this guy out. And focus on one. I know they're both hitting you. Sometimes it wants to switch you to another opponent. Just take out one. So, like, I already lost my shirt, and now I'm like, oh crap. You know, like I'm gonna hurt way more to do this. But I'm done. That's it. Right there. That's the last. These are the last two you actually have to fight with melee weapons. And from here, it's just take what you can. And you're gonna go over here. Well, okay. So right there, that gate I just opened, that will hold a person that's gonna allow. That's the guy. It's in the lobby that uh, is doing all my favors for me, like letting me modify my guns and stuff. Like that. That, allow, that opens up. That guy from over here on the left. Take him out. Like I said, just cut him along. You do not want to melee attack him. Unless you feel like you got enough armor. You if you're down, you know, he's down on health, that you can take a swing on him and he'll be done. But to me it's not really worth it. I don't care. It's one bullet shot or shotgun shell. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna go after him. So now look, I've got everything. All I gotta do is unlock this computer. Just hack that shit. Hack that shit, man. WikiLeaks, WikiLeaks, I'm gonna hack that shit. Okay, so also earlier that's the area where you could have like circumnavigated what you had ahead of you, like those frenzy giants and the toxic spitters and blah, 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 blah. So now that's it. That is all you have to do for level, for the second floor. Uh, and so like I said, I'm, I'm, doing, I'm going here with, I'm, I'm willing to use some guns. Uh, I've got steel, I'm going to refurbish some handguns, refurbish some M16s. Uh, you can go around these frenzy giants if you're only doing melee and skip them once you get past that turret. But you're going to need an assault rifle to get past a turret or a bone arrow. And like I said, if you're just starting, you can, you can do the bone arrow. Take the time, do the bone arrow, take out the turret, move on from there. Do melee all the way through. You can do it. You can want some extra body armor. I can go through this and not use a whole set of body armor of the military armor 
and here we are again red crate did I get it no there's no chopper tank I'm not shocked I'm pretty sure I'll be one of the only guys on the planet that will die when he's 80 years old that never got the fucking chopper tank you know what F it I'm so fast that though man I just want the I just want the transmission for my ATV I want the ATV transmission and you know what you're, you're gonna get some motor parts that's a guarantee but what I've just shown you here you can go through you can start working towards getting these tickets so you can have the weapons to go through the way I do and this may not be the way everyone else goes through but this is the way that works for me and so I thought I'd share that with you guys today um, and uh, I was I was very intimidated to do the bunker when I first started doing the bunker and uh, I hope this helps you guys out I just wanted to show you this is how I go about it it's a very important you go through the bunker it's gonna give you the things you need because you're not gonna get all the things you need from going to the locations on the map like the forests the red zones the yellows the greens aren't gonna do anything for you except for help you build XP they're very limited in the trees and the stone and everything else you can get if, if once you get to going to the bunker you should be able to start doing yellow and mostly red zones uh, unfortunately you still have the big one I was pissed off I got killed by him and I was gonna go kill him but there's a glitch where if you're loading into the map He's punching you before you even get loaded into the map. So I'm going to have to come back to that another time. Until then, this is the second floor. I'm getting ready for the third floor, and I'll bring that to you guys soon. Thank you for watching. I appreciate everything. Thank you.